So the Grizzlies lost 117 to 116 to the Golden State Warriors. But before I talk about that, um, I just want to thank y'all, I guess, kind of, for my last video. My last video is literally my most watched video on my whole YouTube channel. And I literally just posted it last night. Like, literally, last night I posted it. And I woke up this morning and it did better than every single last one of my YouTube videos. Uh, it was Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. I will make more boxing content. I've always been interested in boxing and MMA. It's just no fights have really happened since I've been consistently uploading. And the Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor was the first fight to happen, you know, during me uploading. So whenever next fight happens, you know, if it's Devin Haney or somebody's fighting or Javante Davis or something, I will be sure to make a video on it. And uh, yeah, so I want to make my YouTube videos that real all over the place. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be categorized on one thing. But I'm um, basically the um, the Golden State beat the um, Memphis Grizzlies. Um, and should the Memphis Grizzlies be worried? I mean, yes, but no. Okay. The reason I'm saying yes is because if y'all lose next game, yeah, y'all are done. Y'all probably gonna get swept or gentlemen swept. But for right now, maybe not because maybe not. The reason I'm saying that is because if y'all win next game, if the Grizzlies win next game, oh, then y'all might be okay. It's gonna be okay. But actually, I don't know. Yeah, y'all, yeah, yo, if the Grizzlies lose the next game, yo, y'all are done. I'm sorry, but y'all are done. Like, y'all are out. Done. Out. So, check me out. Andrew Wiggins got 17 points. Klay Thompson got 15. Draymond Green got 6. Stephen Curry got 24. Gary Payton, the second, got 8. And Jordan Poole got 31. I would say the rest of these names, but I don't know any of these people at the bottom. Who? Damian Lee? Damien, I get, I don't know, but um, the thing about it is, it was Jordan Poole's night. The freaking Golden State Warriors didn't even have their best night ever. So, and freaking Jared Jackson Jr. got 33 points, 10 rebounds, and John Morant got 34 points, 10 assists, and, and nine rebounds. He almost got a triple double. So, freaking. This was one of, this was actually not a bad night for the Grizzlies. This was a good game for the Grizzlies. I'm not going to lie. But for the Warriors, this wasn't that good of a game for the Warriors. So imagine what it would be like when the Warriors are at their best and the Grizzlies are at their worst. Especially because freaking... Didn't the Memphis Grizzlies have home court advantage this game too? And y'all... Still lost then this was one of your this was a good game for y'all this wasn't like one of your worst games a bad night y'all were having a this is a good night for y'all and a bad night for the Warriors Clay Thompson literally only got 15 points Stephen Curry got 24 points Stephen Curry had an inconsistent night and Clay Thompson only got 15 points in 31 minutes now I know what you're thinking oh that's not that bad but Clay Thompson doesn't usually go 15 3 and 1 that is super unlikely so yo Y'all Grizzlies better watch out. This is not looking amazing. I'm not saying it's looking horrible for right now because y'all can bounce back in game two. But if they sweep y'all at your own home court, y'all ain't going to survive in San Francisco. This is not going to look good at all. Did, did Steven Adams play tonight? Steven Adams did not play tonight. What happened to Steven Adams? Hold on, let me. I did not know that. Why didn't Steven Adams play? Maybe that's a big reason on why they lost. Steven Adams. Memphis Grizzlies player will miss Steven Adams' impact on. Oh, he got COVID. Okay. He got COVID. Um. That shouldn't take too long. All you need is 14 days to recover from COVID-19. You have to do 14. And 
I don't think he just got COVID. He probably got it like a week ago or something. So he should be back. But if y'all lose game two, y'all y'all are done. It said Iguodala's going to miss the first two games. But I'm looking at the stats and it says Iguodala played. Yeah. Iguodala. No, wait. Did Iguodala play? Iguodala did not play. I think Iguodala, I know what you're thinking, Iguodala's old and washed up. I think Iguodala would have a big impact. He's a veteran. He, he has playoff experience. Um, yeah, so for the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, I think Draymond Green got injured mid-game. He did, didn't he? Because he only played 17 minutes, 6 points, 3 assists. Yeah, Draymond Green got injured. So even even though they, they had no Draymond Green and they had no Iguodala and they were still able to beat y'all. It on an inconsistent night from Steph Curry. The only person y'all were missing was Steven Adams. But y'all did good. John Morant was one rebound away from a double-double. And Jaron Jackson Jr. got a double-double. I mean, I mean a triple-double for John Morant. He was one rebound away from a triple-double. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here, y'all. Um, should y'all be worried? I, I don't think so. I'll keep y'all updated. I'll be back tonight. For the Jazz versus the Mavericks. Brr.